What's going on guys and welcome back to a new video and in this video I'm going to give you the three reasons why you are not yet earning 10k a month. No, I don't waste no time. Okay guys and welcome to the video. So for those of you that are new to the channel, my name is Joshua Daniel George, social media marketer and online coach. I have my own social media marketing agency and my also my own coaching business where I teach you guys on basically how to do the same. So how to get your first clients, how to set your set up your agency, how to automate it, scale it so that you too can live life on your own terms. Now, again, apologies for the title. Um, it is a bit cringy, like I was looking at it. To be fair, like to be completely honest, um, in my content calendar, my content team has, has basically mapped out for me. The title was uh, three reasons why you're not yet at a million or you're not yet a millionaire. And I just said there and then, guys, like I'm not going to record that video because I'm not a millionaire myself. You know, there's, there's enough gurus out there that basically you know teach content that they haven't actually experienced themselves etc i do not want to be one of them so uh, that is the reason why i sort of changed the title to okay then three reasons why you're not at uh, 10k a month and um with that said actually the three things that i have got you can actually hit 10k a month even if you don't have these three things on point um because i've done the exact same so the very first uh, time we, for example, the very first time we actually hit six figures, we had no systems in place. Um, we like, it was just no automation. It was just sheer, like basically manual labor, uh, building on momentum. And we got a bit of luck uh, along the way as well. And it worked. But um, like I've realized over time that if you do have these systems in place, if you do make sure that these three points, which I'm going to explain in just a sec, um, are applied, then it will be much easier for you to hit 10k a month for Kieran. And for those of you that, like I said, you know, are struggling to get up to 10k a month, then having these three points in place will definitely help out. And without rambling on too much and beating around the bush too much, the first thing uh, I think is holding you back from hitting 10k a month is the fact that you're trying to do too many things at once. And we've all heard that, you know, we've all heard everyone say, you know, less is more and stuff like that and focus on one thing. But there is an element of truth in there. So what I would do, um, and in this case, you know, for SMMA, social media marketing, I would focus on, um, well, first of all, just focus on one business model, which in this case would be SMMA or social media marketing. So I see a lot of people, they will um, do social media marketing and they'll try and build a personal brand alongside that. Yes, documenting the journey is good. Uh, I've done the exact same. But like looking back, one of the biggest mistakes I made was basically doing all these little extras on the side too soon. So when I, I already had my YouTube channel and then I basically pivoted from fitness content to entrepreneurial content, if you will. And I started documenting my journey and it didn't really cost any much extra time because literally I was documenting what I was doing. So rather than preaching as uh, some kind of expert, like, okay, this is what you need to do. I basically said, okay, guys, like this is what I'm planning. Let's see, if, you know, let's see what happens. And alongside that, I also have my personal brand, so my Instagram, which is where I was active on. Um, and then once I started to get a bit of momentum, we hit six figures and I brought out an ebook, which again, you know, it's uh, that it took me, it only took me a week, but it's still a week that I didn't spend on the agency. Um, from there, I brought out my manifesto mindset course. I brought out the first version of Lifestyle Design Mastery. I started work on the webinar, etc. Which, um, from a info product entrepreneur standpoint, were all good moves, and they all pushed the needle forward in terms of income and cash flow. But in terms of the agency, you know, uh, I was basically working or fighting on two fronts, and I see a lot of um, like starter entrepreneurs, aspiring entrepreneurs, aspiring agency owners do the same thing. And yes, you know, it is possible, um, but you will need to put in the work if you want to achieve that. Like, you know, I'm not one to say that I, um, you know, like, I, I, yeah, okay, I do work smart. And yes, you know, I do have my phases where I sort of go in the laptop lifestyle mode, but, you know, I do have a, almost a sickening work ethic. You know, I am proud of the amount of work I put in. Um, and not just that's not to say that you need to grind and you need to hustle and all, all stuff like that, like what these other people tell you to do. 
Um, you know, there's a time and place for working hard and working smart. But the reason why I had to basically go the extra mile is because, like I said, I was battling on two fronts. So what I would do or what I would advise you guys to do if you are planning on uh, basically starting a business or looking into online entrepreneurship and you want to get up to 10k a month is just to focus on one thing okay just to focus on SMA just focus on whatever you want to do you know if it's drop shipping or Amazon FBA you know whatever you want my personal preference obviously goes out to social media marketing why because that is my own business model again you know I'm only teaching um, what I uh, what I know and what I've basically learned from experience but just focus on the one thing and leave all the rest you know you can uh, always pick up uh, the personal brand after you've hit 10k a month you can always start offering coaching on the side if you know you've achieved your goals and so on and so forth and um i yeah like i said that is probably the number one thing that i can what number one tip i can give you guys is just to focus on one business model then speaking of focusing on one thing at a time the second thing i'd like to basically give to you guys is to focus on one service okay so we've picked the business model then within the business model i want you to pick one service and again yes you know this might sound sound simple and you guys might have been hoping for like the secret sauce or a secret strategy or anything like that but this is all this is all it is guys okay this is this is the secret sauce if that's what you're looking for focus on one thing at a time so in this case decide for yourself is it facebook ads that you want to offer is it social media management that you want to offer? Is it SEO? Is it Google ads? Is it YouTube ads? Is it Bing? Is it LinkedIn ads? You know, whatever you want, just pick one. Yes, there are going, always going to be tons of videos on other um, paid traffic methods, other methods of outreach, other types of business models that you can do. And there are people online, um, you know, are having success with that. But it's not that your business model doesn't work. You just need to put in the time and effort, okay? So if you pick SMA, and if you pick Facebook ads, then just go all in on that, okay? Forget TikTok ads, forget SEO, forget Google ads, forget YouTube ads. Like I, I see it even in Facebook groups. There's people having conversations with each other like, should I offer Google ads alongside Facebook ads as well? Like, would that get my clients a higher return on investment? Well, not if you don't know how to run them, okay? So just focus on one thing. And yes, again, there's a conversation about, yeah, you should outsource and build a team. Yes, but there is a, to a certain degree, you need to be doing this yourself and you need to be able to understand what is going on. Again, another mistake I made was I went into full digital nomad mode when I started out. Yes, it worked. Yes, I earned a lot of money from it, but my clients left fairly quickly because the results did suffer. So the media buyers weren't actually as good as we thought. And it's only now when I look back and see at what they, they are, were doing that I realized, okay, there was so much more potential there and it wasn't necessarily that their product didn't convert or their store didn't convert, the ads just weren't that good, okay? But if I had the knowledge on Facebook ads and media buying back then, I could have said, guys, like, whatever you're doing, it's not enough, you know, you, you basically need to, you know, pull your finger out and start getting to work. And at the time, I couldn't do that because I didn't have that knowledge. So you will need to have an adequate amount of experience and knowledge of Facebook ads. And yes, there are always gurus that say that you need to be working um, you know, you need to be basically building a team. And yes, that is true, but you will need to have a certain amount of knowledge to be able to lead that team and to guide that team, okay? So focus on one business model, focus on one service. In my case, it's social media marketing and Facebook ads. I just wanna quickly interrupt this video and basically mention to you guys that I have a free social media marketing course and you can literally download this course if you are subscribed to my YouTube channel. So basically what I've done is I have created a custom audience with Google Ads. Uh, for those of you that are subscribed to my channel and you guys will see a pre-roll advertisement on one of my videos where I basically give you the direct link to download this course. So it's an unpublished link on Teachable which you will only see if you are subscribed to my channel. So if you want a free social media marketing course, all you need to do is subscribe to my channel and then you will see my advertisements. So without further ado, let's hop back into the video. Okay, and the third um, basically point or piece of advice that I can give you is do not take on bad clients. And yes, you know, when starting out, we've had this conversation before, I have basically advised to not marry a niche, not go all in on one niche right from the start because you don't know what niches are out there. You know, sometimes you've got to play the field a little bit. You need to find out for yourself 
what niche do you actually like working with? You know, experience what it is like to, you know, work with clients that aren't necessarily a right fit, just to experience what it's like to work in different types of niches. That is true. But if you want to get up to 10K a month per Kieran, you will need to basically draw a line when it comes to bad clients. So if you know from the start, this client is not necessarily going to be a right fit. For example, we had a call today and this guy just literally went in full alpha mode and said, okay, I want to know what the cost per click is going to be. I want to know what the click through rate is going to be. And we were like, bro, like the, but we didn't say bro, by the way, that's not how we handle the calls. But we were like, we were just saying to him like, why, why do you care what the click through rate is and the cost, cost per click? Like that is on us. That's our responsibility, not yours. All you need to be worrying about really is the return on investment. That is at the end of the day, I don't, you know, the cost per click might be twice as high as the industry average, but if our return on investment is higher as well, or if our return on ad spend is higher, or if our conversion rate is better than all of the other competitors, then I don't really care what the click through rate is or what the cost per click is, okay? So focus on one metric, obviously, um, which is the metric that you want to focus on. You know, basically, like, what, what's the, what does, like, a terminology for it, was it, like, if you want pizza, get pizza, something like that. I probably butchered that, uh, but anyway, what I'm trying to say is these clients, they think they need to know all of these things, but it's not necessarily true. They just need to focus on the end result. We focus on all the throughputs and the metrics, etc. but from that moment onwards, we knew, okay, this client is going to be a pain in the A. Like this client, uh, he's probably, you know, someone's whispered in his ear, like, okay, this is what you need to do. He probably watched another guru video as well. He thought, okay, this is what I need to know. And he just came in in full alpha mode, did not respect us as agency owners. And we just said, listen, um, it doesn't seem like a right fit at this time. Um, so let's just, you know, leave it at this. What we'll do is we'll uh, follow up in a month's time. We see where you're at. If you are still struggling, we can basically, you know, come in and see what we can do. And first of all, he didn't really like the fact that we said struggling because, like I said, he's the alpha. But we did sort of put him in his place and I'm extremely grateful to be in a position where I can basically turn down clients. And that's not from a financial perspective, but more from a mindset perspective. Like, if you know that there's always another client out there and that you're always just one client away from your next goal or your next, um, I don't know, your income goal or whatever you want, then it will be so much easier to turn down clients that aren't a right fit. And what you need to realize is that, yes, you know, we could take on this client, um, but let's say, you know, we've got a certain, and like our next income milestone that we want to hit, and we've got this headache client that's taken up all of our time. That is time that we can't spend on actually reaching out to the right clients or, you know, um, speaking to these right clients or analyzing the data of these right clients because we've got the bad clients here that is basically trying to take up all of our attention okay it's like that 80 20 percent principle uh, 80 percent of your time will be focused on only 20 percent of the results so uh, that is basically my third piece of advice that i can give you guys and like i said you can hit 10k a month without these uh, pieces of advice in place but if you are not at 10k a month just yet um you know you're basically uh, up and down, you know, your income's not uh, really stable, you're getting in clients, you're losing clients, etc. then I would definitely look at these three points, uh, implement them, and you'll notice that things will just get so much easier for you and for your agency. Okay, so that is all I've got for today. Oh, by the way, before we actually finish off this video, I had, um, so basically with my coaching, um, we've been inviting a few guest speakers along as well, because one of the um, basically unique selling points that I want to provide to those that enroll into the coaching is I basically want to open up my network to people that enroll into the coaching as well. Um, you know, I've mentioned this on the, the, basically on the, on the channel a few times, you know, there are courses popping up everywhere nowadays and it is getting extremely di difficult for, for you guys as well to realize like, or to understand like who is real, who's legit or, um, you know, compared to who is just promoting the business model. Who's just got the course, but actually has got an agency, for example. So I thought, okay, then how can I compete with all of these people? Um, how can I show that I have actually got the agency and I am teaching the business model that I, I, I pursue myself as opposed to just teaching the business model? And I was thinking, okay, well, probably one of the best ways to do it is to leverage my network. Obviously, I've got my YouTube channel where everything is documented, but if I can also show my network, show you know that I know these people, I have worked with these clients, um, you know, I've got these people basically in my, 
um, you know, basically my mastermind, if you will, um, that you guys can leverage as well, then that's another unique selling point that I have. And it'll be just be more value for those that enroll into the coaching. And we had the, um, basically, you know, we had Brandon on the coaching call yesterday, who is a high ticket closer, mentee of Dan Locke. Um, he's been in the inner circle. He's been, you know, to, um, he, he's been part of like the two comma club uh, team when he was doing the sales, etc. And one of the things that he mentioned yesterday on the call, which really sort of uh, hit home for me, was the fact that he only focuses on uh, helping winners win more. And basically what he mentioned is you've got this J curve. So if you start a business, you know, this is where you start. And, you know, from here, you know, this, let's, let's just say this is like the six figure mark. So zero to six figures. And this is like the death valley. Okay. So this is basically where everything goes wrong. This is where about 90% of the entrepreneurs will fail. 90% of the business owners will basically stop here. Why? Because it is hard to get a business off the ground. Like it's, you know, it is hard work. And like I said, people are lazy, people don't know what they're doing, people give up too quickly, people get guidance from the wrong people, people invest into the wrong things and so on and so forth. So this is the Death Valley, okay? And basically what he says was when you reach out to business owners, uh, do not reach out to startups, okay? What you need to be focusing on is the people here, okay? The cream of the crop. So people that have been through the Death Valley, people that are making good money and want to earn more because it's much easier to help someone that is at six figures get to multiple six figures than there is to help someone that is here that still needs to go through the entire death valley um, and help them get to six figures okay so that's just one last little piece of advice that i wanted to give you guys because that is something that i thought was really interesting and we've actually structured um or sort of like pivoted our uh, not necessarily pivoted but we've changed our copy and our flow to basically Okay, so the camera died there. For some reason, after 16 minutes, my camera just dies automatically. But anyway, like I said, after um, after the call yesterday, we've changed a few things in our business to no longer appeal to people that are making below six figures, okay? Because we want it with regards to the, the agency, so the agency service, B2B. Uh, why? Because like he said, it's easier to get someone that is in six figures and help them get to multiple six figures, help them get to the next level than it is to help a startup because a startup is in the wrong frame of mind. They are managing their money. They are looking at every single metric, every single penny, and they just are not a right fit. People that already have experience with Facebook ads, people that are making good money, they understand that it takes time. They understand what metrics to really look at and they can, you know, they basically know what you are doing and they understand that it's an investment and not a cost. Okay, so that is it. And now I am actually wrapping up this video. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you are interested in the coaching, if you want to basically look into my network and uh, use my network to your advantage as well, along with all of the other benefits of actually, you know, enrolling into my coaching program, it will all be linked in the description box down below. What you can also do if you're on the fence about it is you can schedule a free call with either me or Elliot, my head of operations. Um, just a basically a no strings attached 50 minute call to see if it's a right fit for you. If it is, and we think that we can actually help you, we will offer you a spot in the program. If not, we are, you know, no hard feelings. We just walk away as friends. But like I said, it'll all be linked in the description box down below. And with that said, I am going to wrap up this video here. Like this video if you got something out of it. Comment down below what you'd like to see from this channel next. Subscribe to the channel for more and I'll see you all in the next video.